Hello, and this is a lecture on fluid dynamics. As I've got an exam for that coming up, and I really don't like it, so I'm hoping to get a lot of videos to, to help me on that. Uh, and it's going to be on the stream function and the potential function. And we'll have just a little easy example on the stream function because they can be a bit too complicated, and I think this is a bit simpler. Right, the streamline. Streamlines are like this diagram here. It's the flow of the of the liquid, the direction it's going in. So it's uh, the lines are tangent to the velocity. So if the water's flowing like this, these are our streamlines. And the stream uh, this is defined here. And the stream function, we can use that to find uh, the streamline in any point here. So we can use it to plot the streamline. Uh, to find it. We first we have to get phi, and it's only you can only find it if the divergence of u is zero. Now u is our function, or so it's in two variables of u and v, and we let v equal minus phi uh, differentiated with respect to x, and u equal phi. Uh, differentiated with respect to y and if we do this then we can then integrate and we'll find phi so it's not actually that difficult I've got an example coming up because that probably made no sense uh, right and once you've done this then it should work so that the velocity is v differentiated with respect to x minus u differentiated with respect to y and it's all equal here, so that should be correct if it's worked. Um, if we have the velocity is zero, so vx minus uy is zero, then we can also find the potential function. And this is defined here as u is, is that uh, grad psi, and here we, it's quite simple from here that we just let u equal psi x and v equal psi y. So I've got an example now. Uh, here we've got our function u in form of u and v. We've got u is 26xy and v is minus 13y squared. Now it's a simple example I've made, so you can probably see where it's going. Uh, right, we want to find the stream function if it exists. Now first to see if it exists, we need to check that our divergence is zero. So we need to differentiate this with x, which will give us 26y. And then we differentiate this with y, which will give us minus 26y, because the 2 comes down. And we have to add them together, and that will give us 0. So the divergence does equal 0, so there, kind of, there, should, there will be a stream function. Next thing we've got to do is we've got to remember those little things here, which is we let v equal minus phi x and u equal phi y which we've done here, and then all we simply do is we integrate either one of them. So we can integrate this one with respect to, we can cancel off the minuses because they're on both sides. Uh, integrate this one with respect to x to get phi, which gives us 13xy squared. Or we can do it this one, uh, with, so we have to integrate this one with respect to y, which will uh, give us 13xy squared. So they're exactly the same. So we can do either one of them, and that gives us our function here phi equals 13xy squared and we can also check that in this example there is no potential function as w the velocity does not equal zero because remember w is vx minus uy so if we do vx which will be zero and uy which would be 26x then obviously they do not make zero. I hope that made sense. 